Welcome to this video. I have five drills for you to be able to hit the ball harder in this new year. The first is wind resistance, using wind resistance. And the idea behind this is just like in baseball, when a, a batter goes right before he goes up, he has a donut or a weight on his bat. And he does that because as that bat is heavier and he's practicing swinging it, by the time he takes that thing off, he's gonna swing a little bit faster. Well, the same thing in tennis. So what I've done here is I've cut out a styrofoam board and I have just taped this to my racket. You could do this with really anything. You could put a plastic bag over it for all I care, but you want wind resistance. So as I go through and swing this, the fact that it is so hard for me to increase the swing speed, and you can see my swing is slow, and it's slow because of all this wind resistance. However, when I take this off of my racket or I grab another racket, it's gonna dramatically increase my swing speed. Take a look at this. All right, your second drill is understanding how to not grip or bear down on the tennis racket. And Todd has talked about how important this is in the past. He's talked about the more that you could stay loose, the faster your racket will move. And that is so true. But our drill for practicing that is going to be holding on to the racket with just three fingers. And not only am I holding on with three fingers right here, I'm making sure that there is space inside my hand. I am not bearing down on the racket like this. By doing that, I can't have any resistance. I can't be bearing down on my tennis grip. And because of that, that racket is going to move a whole lot faster. So I'll show you an example of that. Three finger drill. <coughs> In this third drill, you're going to need a partner to help you out, or a ball machine, I guess. But what I'm going to do, here's the setup for it. I'm going to have Todd stand behind me right back here. And when he stands behind me, he is going to underhand toss a tennis ball. It is going to come bounce towards the net. And my job is to get in here and catch up to the tennis ball to take a swing. And by doing that, um, I have to increase my swing speed because the ball is moving away from me. It's going towards the net, where typically in tennis it's coming at you. And because of that, I have to catch up to the ball and that will increase my swing speed. So on this fourth drill, I'm going to be hitting swinging volleys. And if you notice, I've moved up. I'm no longer at the baseline. I'm also not at the service line. I'm right in the middle. I'm in no man's land. This is important because as Todd throws me balls, he's going to throw me a ball in an increased speed. So it's going to go boom, 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 as opposed to waiting for a long, you know, a long time. And then as I do that and the ball's in the air, I have to increase my swing speed to be able to take that out of the air and then take it out of the air repetitively. And because of that, my stroke will continue to get faster. So this is what that looks like. In this last and final drill, this is gonna be just ripping the ball as hard as I can. You'd be surprised at how many people play tennis and they do not know whether they can hit or what 100% of their power is. So what I wanna be doing here is I wanna just be ripping the ball. It probably is not going to go in, but that's okay, that's not my goal. My goal is to figure out how hard can I actually swing. And from there, I can kind of set my limit on what I want it to be. But if I don't even know what 100% is to begin with, I can't really increase my speed to everything it could be. So that drill will be looking like this. 
This drill is hitting as hard as I can, trying to find my 100%. All right, so those are your five drills that are gonna help increase your swing speed in the new year. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and I'll see you again next week.